If you're thinking of buying a text-to-speech product such as Speechlo or Talkia, watch this video first. I'm going to show you how to get everything they offer and more for free with Microsoft's speech services. If you've not seen my review on how other text-to-speech products work, check out that video first because you're going to see how we can tap directly into the services they use and charge you extortionate amounts of money for. Now, many people believe the cloud subscription services such as Azure, Google Cloud, Amazon Web Services are for corporate businesses and other organizations. And that's not true. Any individual can take advantage of these services. You don't need to be an IT expert to set up and start using their text to speech tools and services for voiceovers. I'm going to talk you through the procedure and get you set up in minutes. So. I will sign up and subscribe to Microsoft Azure and create a text-to-speech service. Now, I won't lie, when it comes to subscribing to any services with a credit or debit card of mine, it frightens the life out of me. And the big question I have is, can I stop it when I want? So, let's face it, you are paying Speechlo or Talkia between $47 to $70 before you'd even made your first text-to-speech conversion. With Microsoft, you get these tools for free each month with a certain limit. And if you go over the limit, you're paying pittance compared to $47 to $70. So I'm going to show you how to access the content creation tool and show you where you can see how much you've spent. If you still don't feel comfortable with this option, hold tight because at the end, I'll give you another option without a credit or debit card. It's a little bit fiddly. You won't get as many features but it's still free. On the audio content creation web page, uh, there is a video that talks you through setting up a speech service. They don't, however, uh, talk you through subscribing to Azure. Uh, so I will go through that first using my own personal Outlook account. And the best place to start is the signup.azure.com. When the sign up screen appears, enter your personal contact details. Now ignore all this lovely sellable stuff here on the right, because this promotes that you can get Azure for free for a year with a few hundred dollars credit. And this is for corporate accounts and you may not be eligible for it. Microsoft needs to know that you own these details. So choose for Microsoft to text or call you with a verification code and enter it below. Read the agreements and confirm you agree to the terms and conditions and select or deselect the I would like junk through the mail options. Once that's done, click next. Enter your credit or debit card details. Microsoft are going to authorize the card, but they won't charge anything to that card. Whilst we're waiting for your details to be confirmed, you can tell them how good they are or you can ignore it. Now, because my personal details don't have a Office 365 subscription assigned to it, I'm not going to get the free year, several hundred dollars credit, blah, blah. I don't care. I want the pay as you go system as I intended. So this is the subscription I want, pay as you go. I'm going to click next. So And I don't need any technical support. I'm an individual, not a huge organization. So I'm going to click the bottom option here. And that's it. You'll probably see the feedback form again whilst it's confirming your details. And you can fill that in or you can ignore it. It will pass that page when it's finished. You are now subscribed, ready to add your very own text-to-speech resource. So click Home in the top left corner. Your home dashboard should look like this. It might look like this or this. It doesn't matter. There's a search box at the top. Click and type cognitive or just cog should do it. Select the cognitive services. And when the page appears, go down the page and inside the speech box, click create. So before we go any further, let's just check to make sure we uh, understand the full pricing details. So I'm going to go into this link and click new and then scroll down. Pick the region that you're in. So I'm in the UK South, which is part of Europe. And I'm going to just 
pick my currency and you can see the text to speech options here there we go we've got this sort of uh, five million characters free and we've got this half a million characters for neural text and if I scroll down and look at the additional so in my region my currency is about three pound uh, per additional million characters a month and about 12 pounds uh, additional million characters per neural text to voice per month I'm happy with that so I'm going to go back to this page and I'm going to enter my resource name and this can be anything you like and it's alphanumeric so no spaces but it also has to be unique so if you've picked a name that someone else has taken first then you can just keep trying until you get a unique one your subscription is already selected below so you can ignore that go to the location and choose the region that you want to place it in so this would be your sort of uh, continent country so I'm um, Europe UK South and of course most importantly the pricing tier go for the free one that's what we're here for so it's pay as you go you only pay for the additional stuff per month that you use now all resources uh, form into groups uh, and a resource group is like a container that allows you to uh, group together resources you use to complete a job so I could create a group called voiceover or e-learning and any of your services I use to manage that goes into one group and it's also a great way to break your budget and spend down for each task or each group that you're using as you're for which is quite cool it's a new subscription so I don't have any resource groups so I'm going to click new and I'm going to give it a name use the same sort of policy as the the resource name so nice and short descriptive no spaces but this has to be unique to your subscription so you can use as many groups as you like um, but they need to be uniquely named within your subscription okay click create and we just wait for Microsoft to build that resource for us it doesn't take too long and when it's ready we can go in and launch it and start creating our text-to-speech voiceovers once your deployment is complete you can click go to resource but there's nothing in there that we need because this is really for developers and designers every time we want to use the text-to-speech tools we go to speech.microsoft.com this will take you to this lovely green and blue page and in the text-to-speech section there's the audio content creation click that and we need to tell it which subscription and resource we want to plug the front end to so that's your subscription and the resource that you created you're now at the new screen waiting for you to create your files so if you click new we'll create a new text file and here you are in the audio creation tool ready to make magic or voices now at any time I can go and view any outstanding costs I can even cancel my subscription to do that I'm going to go to my settings gear cog in the top corner here and this will take me to a page where I can view all the properties in Azure portal just a nice way of getting there if you can't get there yourself you know you can get there because if otherwise you'll be able to see a little button at the top here that allows you to quickly navigate through your Azure features and services so here we've got the option to cost management and billing and this is a free service and you can see here that uh, saying the amount due is zero now if you've set your subscription up recently the billing and things won't actually kick in for about a day and don't worry zero will be charged to you in that time so once that's been done um, I can also go to the Azure subscriptions on the left here and it will show you all the subscriptions you got I can click on any one and view it and this also shows you the spending rate for that particular subscription and how much you've used it but right at the top there is an option to cancel subscription now normally you should stop the resources first so that they're not running even after the subscription has been cancelled it's just a, a good precaution but I like to do it this way if you click the cancel subscription what it allows you to do is view only the resources that sit within that particular subscription just in case you've got more than one so I'm going to click on that review resources there are all the resources I've got in there and what I need to do is just select each one going through the list and turn them off and delete them so with the speech services I'd click it it pops up a box and I can then delete the resource group 
there it is. So there's the resource group speech services that I've got. I can turn that off and delete it. Just to confirm that you're uh, intending to do this, you need to turn in, the, type in the resource group name again. So this would be speech services, and then you'd click delete, and that would delete the group and all of these services inside it. And once you've done that, you can see on the breadcrumb trail, you've got the path back to the confirmation of cancelling. Just click that link. Uh, and once you've got rid of all the resources and groups, that cancel subscription will be lit up and you click it and it will cancel the subscription. So you don't have to go and phone anyone up and wait days or weeks for them to do it. You can do it yourself and you can stop that subscription immediately. Now, for any reason you don't want to subscribe, you can continue using the demo, but there's a few limitations. One is every few minutes, you'll have to refresh your page, losing any text you've put in there. So you'd have to uh, click cancel if you see this little option, and then you would go to the SSML option at the top here, copy all your text, refresh the page, and paste it. A minor setback, but some people might find that annoying. And because it's a demo, they also won't let you download the end voice product. So you'll have to cheat around that by recording the voice as you play it. Now, I recommend I mean, one of my favorite pieces of software that is completely free is something called Audacity. And you can go to the Audacity website and download whatever version you need for your computer. Once you've installed it, you can then set up the Audacity to grab the operating system device. In this case, it's Windows. So I'm going to use the Windows WAS API. And then on the right side, you click the drop down arrow and choose the output that your current system audio is coming out of. And you basically are recording it into a loopback. So if I want to know which output I'm using, just go to my Windows taskbar, hover over the speaker, and it gives me the name of the device. All I've got to do is pick that device from this drop down menu. I'm ready to go. If I click the record button here, switch back to the content creation tool and press play. When we left, you said, got the keys. No, I didn't. I said, got the keys. My voice is recorded. Back to Audacity and click stop. And that's it. I've recorded the voice. Trim it, tidy it up. There's lots of things you can do with Audacity and there's lots of tutorials on YouTube for Audacity. But ultimately what I want to do then is save my voice recording. So I go to file menu export and I can export it to any format I want. The most common ones are WAV and MP3. You just give it a name, click save and that's it. Subscribe to my channel so that I can keep you updated with new videos and I will be doing a tutorial on the audio content creation tool to get you started using this for your own voiceovers. If you've got anything you'd like me to cover, contact me on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, I'll look into it. Stay safe and have fun.